Igbo Area TV. On on the Igbo. Um, hello. Uh, Mr. Milo, I have I've deliberately avoided joining issues with you, but I, I just can't hold back any longer. Um, I think uh, clearly from over the days that I've been listening to you, it, it shows that uh, you are an unrepentant Namdi Kanu advocate and IPOB enthusiast. So I'm going to take you on on that uh, conclusion. When you say we are slaves, I want to ask, slave to what? Who are our masters? Right now in Nigeria, you are not being deprived of traveling anywhere. You can leave the country and come into the country anytime you want. You can, nobody stopping uh, the Igbo man for bu from building roads or maintaining his roads in his house. Nobody is preventing anybody from doing anything in his own house. What though is, 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 is a little bit of concern to everybody is what is happening at Aso Rock. But that does not prevent the subvention that come to your state to come. That does not prevent anything. So when you say we are slaves, who are we really uh, enslaved to? That yes, uh, a certain portion of the country, a certain religion, a certain tribe are uh, occupying virtually almost every important position in the country. That's a fact, and that is not unmindful, but it is not particularly to Igbos alone. Everybody is, it, it, it's a problem for everybody. So when you say you are freeing yourself, who exactly are you freeing from? In fact, I get so irritable when I hear an Igbo man say he wants to be free. Free from who? The same people who has the population, who has the education, who has the spread, who has the exposure, who has the rich, who has basically almost everything God can endow a race. You want to free yourself from people that has basically nothing. They don't have the type of education you have. They don't type, have the type of exposure you have. They don't have the type of spread you have. They don't have the type of money you have. They don't have anything you have. So who exactly are you freeing yourself from? You see, it, it, it's funny when you self-impose inferiority complex on yourself to, to, to embrace the status that you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are a slave. I am not a slave. I don't see myself as a slave in Nigeria. I just see myself losing out on a political uh, struggle in Nigeria. That is how I see myself. And until we get our acts right, we, we, this, this, these people will keep shortchanging us in this political game. Politics is a game. And anytime you lose out, you can't just be crying that uh, we are being marginalized, uh, we are being slaves, we are this, because you lose out on the politics. Nobody says an Igbo man cannot play, play his politics right and become the president of Nigeria and turn Nigeria the way he wants it. The Fulanis have played their game rightly, whether by hook or crook. They are now president and they are ruling Nigeria the way they want it. The day Yoruba man comes in, he rules. I'm not saying that is right, but you cannot cons consistently put yourself at a political disadvantage and keep crying and foul that we, we are being this, we are being that. In this country, it is on record that an Igbo man was given an opportunity to become the president and the, uh, pre Senate, the president of the Senate. And what did they do with it? They spent four years of that time fighting themselves on doing one another to the point that we had five different senators from one race who have the same culture, the same tradition, the same everything. That wasn't a full animal man trying to bring an Igbo man down from becoming Senate president. That was an Igbo man bringing an Igbo man down. So you cannot put yourself in a place whereby you consistently and perpetually make yourself politically irrelevant. And then you cry that the, the country is just changing you politically. Come on. I, 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 am, I'm, I'm, I think I've taken too much of this. Must we, must we because we, we, we have one man who keeps shouting every day, shouting every day, shouting every day that uh, uh, zoo, janja weed, all these things. In fact, I, when I see that guy's speech, I don't even want to listen to him a second because it takes a complete fool to be listening to, listening to Namdi Kanu. You have to be a complete idiot to even expose your consciousness to allow that the garbage that guy is sinking to come into you. That slave you want to become. These are the things that is rope you in because if you don't listen to him, you 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 get the feeling that you are a slave. It is either that it is it is it is either that there's there's a racial arrogance you feel because you are not. Uh, on top of things, therefore you must leave. And then when you want to leave, you want to pack people like us and follow us so that you come and do, show us how big you are. 
it's it's funny it, it it's funny all these self-imposed derogatory descriptions i will not subscribe to that i am not a slave in nigeria and i don't need to be free from anything because in the first place i am not held bound i'm not i'm not in bondage how can i be in bondage when 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 i'm the one the 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 fact that people are coming to my my place and taking my oil did the house has put knife in my neck that they must control my oil we are playing our politics wrongly and therefore we are suffering the consequences we said okay the Igbo man should go and find a way to embrace his neighbors he said no they cannot go down and beg they are too big to go down and beg well since we cannot find a way to come and work together let us keep you be suffering the the, the 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 political superiority of the full animal nobody says we cannot play our politics right if we decide to play our politics right we will control the polity so all these slaves, slaves, janja weed, all these things, slaves, you come here in. So how can I be in a country with people who are so bitter and hateful and hatred? The only thing that comes out from your mouth is bitterness, is hatred, is no love. Nothing that shows reason, nothing that shows love. It's only quare, 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 quare. People like that with so much bitterness can never, can never guarantee a country of peace. On the first day of freedom, they will, will start fighting and there'll be so much bloodshed. We don't have the freedom yet. Look at your, that's your own type of freedom. You are not free yet. How many people are, be, how many people are dying? Imagine if you are now free and the likes of you are now the ones in charge of this so much acclaimed Biafra. I believe people will be dying by the second. Everybody killing, threatening people, disturbing people, beheading people. And is this not the same thing that the Fulanis are doing? Bebona goes. Araka, you are wrong to say, because I want to approach your replies bit by bit. You are wrong to say that I'm Nam Dekano IPOB enthusiast. What you should have said is that I'm a Biafran enthusiast. That will have been much better and understood. Now, I've told you, you're trying to define slave. You cannot define slavery. Slavery have shades, color. They have shades that's acute slavery the one that they will be whooping you with is uh, with um, uh, koboko and you're crying with the chains in your leg and your hand that is acute slavery there are parameters shades spectrums of slavery but all of them is still slavery okay you say that when somebody is under the control of somebody else that's what makes him a slave yes if i'm in control of your money what else do you have you don't have anything Let's say you have 20 Naira in the post now, and I'm controlling that 20 Naira. What remains of you? Nothing. That's one. Number two, you said, uh, who are we enslaving, uh, uh, um, removing ourselves from slavery? You have three degrees of slavery here. Let me explain it to you. The first degree of slavery, the one that you are coming in contact every day is your own brother. To, through longer throat, he collects 20 naira and makes sure that he implements the policy of his master. That's one. Then you have Fulani oligarchy that is controlling Nigeria, is controlling the money of Nigeria, is controlling the military. You are asking, or oh, is it the people that we call Amajiri? Yes, it is those people that we call Amajiri that is enslaving you because they have another slave master living in uh, Europe that use them as proxy. That's why I told you the theory of uh, slave proxy. The master in Europe uses the Amajiri and the Fulani uh, 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 cabals coming from Sahara. Then the Fulani cabal uh, uh, hijack your military and finance, which makes you completely subservient, subservient to them. Because they control the money and they control the instrument to beat you. You see Sunday in this platform, he's a slave because he's acting on proxy. Because if, if Sunday is conscious, he cannot be serving in an army that is supporting people that is creating mass burial at the Gagan. So yes, it is imagery, it is on the uneducated that is enslaving you by proxy. And that imagery and that uneducated fool is capable of enslaving you because there's another master in Europe. So he controls the finance and the military. That is why you are hopeless. You can't do anything. Well, Mr. Raka, you ask what is the restriction? You are, I'm following your own definition of slavery, that it is a person that have restriction. Well, you have restriction to access to your wealth. 
if you have restriction to access to, to your wealth, what, what else restriction is worse than that? You have restriction to participate freely in your country. What restriction is worse than that? So by your own definition, you qualify as a slave. We can analyze. Let us analyze your own definition of slavery. You said that slavery is when you have restriction placed on you. If you have restriction placed on you to have access to your wealth, what are you? If you have restriction placed on you to have equal access to participate in the run of your country, what are you? You are a slave. You can deny it as much as you want to. You can deny it as much as you want to. Now, to further clarify this point, you see in Imo State, the Imo State people went to election because all of you say, hey, let's do election. And voted Ihedioha, their choice. Now, Ihedioha will work for the people. Ihedioha will not listen to the Amajiri and Fulani Kabao, who are your slave masters. What do they do? They bring uh, an elementary six person with the Quranic education and make him chief judge. And now they cancel the election of Ihedioha and bring the case to the court. Then somebody who is on the 10th position with 23 votes is made the governor. See, the Imo state governor is a typical example of your own brother used as proxy to oppress you. Araka, please understand this very, very well. So if you don't understand very well, you say, oh, Igbos are fighting themselves. Igbos voted for Ihedio in Imo state. Okay? Now, let me show you another example. In 1966, the, the Easterners revolted against this uh, slavery. Said, no, they don't want it anymore. Fighting ensued. There was a stalemate in 1968. Nigeria could not advance. Peace talks started in uh, Niamey, Niger. Another one in Ethiopia. Then, the slave master in Europe, that's three degrees of slave, panicked and ram up their military supply, brought in their own armed forces to make sure that the Fulani Kabal and Amajiri is still in control. That is why you must understand these three levels of slavery before you approach it. One is your brother, you must get rid of him. So when you see people killing Igbo, don't feel sorry, they're killing the slaves, proxy slave boss. They get rid of the proxy slave boss, they come in contact with Amajiri and Fulani Kabals. You try to subdue Fulani Kabal and Amajiri, Get ready to fight his master in Europe. This time, another master is coming from China. Let me warn you right now. Another master is coming from China. If you go to your village now in uh, in uh, Urobo, Chinese is owing all your wells there. I know your chief don't have no oil well. You are enslaved to your brother by proxy, and you are enslaved to Fulani oligarchy and Amajiri by proxy, and you are enslaved to their boss in Europe. That is what in political science they call neocolonialism. You saw in uh, in uh, in uh, Ivory Coast, General Gbagbo stood up to French. They sent soldiers there, remove him and put Quatara. Quatara is married to a French woman. Okay, French is running Ivory Coast now. In Niger, they put a man there. He sold them the whole uranium that is in uh, in Niger Republic. That is what we call neocolonialism. European imperialism in Africa is slavery. All French, uh, you saw this woman from United uh, Un African Union crying that uh, all the, the, the hard currency earned by Francophone countries in Africa is deposited in France. When somebody controls your money, you are a slave, according to your own definition. What you don't know is that imperialist is working in Africa. You think that the reason you don't have uh, electricity and water and school in Nigeria is because of Nigerians are incapable of doing it? Yeah, imperialist is using Africans by proxy. They're using Fulani, Oligarch, and Amajiri, and Amajiri in turn use uh, 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 Uzadim, my name, state by proxy. 
according to your own definition when you are denied access that you are a slave yes you are denied access to your wealth you are denied access to participate freely in the running of your country that is why you are a slave there's nothing like uh, Igbo supremacy when uh, Eritreans asked for independence from Ethiopia that was not supremacy when uh, South Sudan asked independence from Sudan that's not supremacy when the Estonians Latvia and Lithuania asked independence from Soviet Union that was not supremacy when Slovakia asked independence from uh, Czechoslovakia that was not supremacy okay the Igbos realized that they are oppressed they say let us leave us alone the Igbos does not want to oppress anybody let us alone let us leave those that wants to be with Amajiri can be with them it's not by force that is why referendum is requested referendum is requested so that if we have Gary we make Gary and drink and sleep we are tired of people taking instruction from Europe and subjugating everybody. Okay, that's nothing like supremacy. When Bangladesh asked independence from Pakistan, it wasn't supremacy. The Banga, the, 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 the uh, uh, East Pakistan, which is Bangladesh, won election, the West Pakistan refused. They broke away, Awami movement, they broke away. When India asked independence from Britain, it wasn't supremacy. When Pakistan asked independence from India, it wasn't supremacy. When East Timor asked independence from Indonesia, it wasn't supremacy. Why must Biafra own be about supremacy? You cannot shape Nigerian politics the way you want it until you get rid of the British from there. The, as long as that in your colonial is there, he will choose the weaker person to enslave you. He will cho choose the weaker person to enslave you. The Chinese is coming too. Fulani is collecting loan from them. And when they come, they will use your wealth and give them as collateral. That's why you are a slave. You don't have to tell me that I'm a slave. I know I'm a slave in Nigeria. So that's why I'm trying to do something about it. I want you people that are slaves and don't know that you are a slave to wake up. You are one of the biggest slaves in the world. Ask somebody else. Just call somebody else and say, please, look, look, look. Call somebody. Those of you living in UAE, talk to your friends in UAE and see what they tell you. You are a slave, big one, the biggest slave. So instead of coming here talking about uh, Nam Dekano, IPOB, you need to organize your own and do your own thing to free yourself. Forget about them, they can forget about IPOB. Let them be foolish. Organize yourself and free your own place. Just like we've told the TV now, TV is about to defend themselves. Right here, you see Sunday in the army jumping up. The same army that is in guide islamic militias they go to his place mass burial igagan mass burial akure mass burial ibadan sunday have gold in, in western nigeria fulani is manning the gold and selling but is in the end happy slave is that is that normal can you go to europe and man their gold and they clap for you Sunday is in the army, in Nigerian army. Hey, 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 hey. Fulani is manning gold in Western Nigeria and sending overseas. Yet Sunday could not go to Zamfara, man their own, mine their own, and send overseas. And they call himself a freeborn. Is the, it, Sunday is an example of slave by proxy, serving his Fulani slave masters. It is not how I see a slave, is the way slave will be. I use your own definition. You define slavery, use your own definition, it fits perfectly. You say when someone is restricted, you are restricted to your wealth and you are restricted to participate fully in a country that is your own. That's slavery. When Buhari gets sick, he runs to London, he's supposed to be a Muslim, supposed to go to Saudi Arabia, supposed to go to UAE. UAE and Saudi Arabia is not the first order of slave master. 
he's going to his slave masters. When you don't obey them, they kill you. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. When this guy in Burkina Faso came up, wanted to take care of business for Africans. He wanted to take care of business. He said, hey, these slave masters, to hell with you people. I will do as I please. He went to Paris. One woman asked him, why did you go to Cuba? Mitterrand of France. If you see how Mitterrand of France looked at him when he was answering the question, Mitterrand of France looked at him like a boy. What happened? He came back home. They used his boyhood friend to dethrone him. That boyhood friend could not run the place until mobs chased him away. Burkina Faso have not recovered from that murder. So I use your own definition of slave to answer you. I didn't even use my own. I use your own definition. You can continue to be in denial, but I want you to conduct research. Ask some people. Ask Ghanaians. Ask Liberians. Ask Burkina Faso. People, they will tell you what you are. Um, hello, guys. Um, it's been wonderful being in this group. As a matter of fact, I've been the most excited being part of this group so 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 that we don't uh, eventually eventually end up this group as just talking about Nam Kano and his uh, atrocities i was hoping that we could uh, turn this group around and 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 then gain something beneficial to it so i am thinking from this group we could we could create another group say name it let me be the new Igbo front or Igbo progressive so we, we we're trying to sell a new image to the rest of the world saying that okay these are Igbos with a new feel with with a different philosophy with a different face with a different ideology so that because the greatest problem of the Igbo man is the is the is the conception that people have about them now these concepts th these conceptions may be erroneous it could be true the advent of Unam Dikanu has further exacerbated the already damaging image that a lot of people have about Igbo. So I think we should um, use the opportunity that this group presents to begin to sell a different positive narrative for the Igbo people. And um, I will be ready to, be, to, to, do, to do that. Unfortunately, I have my own challenges as well, but people... People tend to like, of course, though it's only the IPOB uh, miscrimes that have these problems. But I am making this suggestion from a very innocent point of view. I'm not forcing anybody to agree with me, but I think it is time we began to sell a, a different narratives for people to begin to have a different assessment for the evil. Believe me, it is an uphill task, but it is good we start from somewhere. I, I am somebody who strongly believes that Igbos are nice people. Believe me, ah, the Igbos are the only people you meet and you say, okay, this is the challenges I have, and um, immediately they are filled with empathy to want to help you. This, uh, this, 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 attitude, this attitude can only come from people with a good heart. But with the, with, with the, with, with, with the appearance of Inam Dikano in the scheme of things, it has... Um, prevented people from seeing the good side of the Igbo people. So I think we should we should begin to start to create a platform where we begin to sell uh, a different narrative to the world. How about we create a, a platform and say Igbos are good people or Igbos are loving people, Igbos are ready to love people. These are just hypothetical ideas that I'm just trying to bring. But beyond that, I think the, the, the Igbo people seriously need seriously need a new identity that endears people to 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 want to be with them well, i feel i feel i feel i feel pity or i feel concerned that a people who have suffered who have suffered greatly from the carnage of the civil war and who have struggled and strived so hard to bring themselves out from the debris of of a devastating civil war and then still suffer ridicule and contempt from people or from Nigeria as a whole, it's hard to bear. 
But the problem is that when you have the likes of Unam Dikano, who cannot reason from these perspectives, makes it even far more worse for the people after suffering so much for, for, for themselves. So it's just an idea, it's just a suggestion. I'd seriously like people who, 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 who told along this line to, to help us see if we can salvage the situation. Thank you very much. Mr. Arakan Namdekan was not in 1966. He was not there. So don't blame something. I told you, leave the IPOBs alone. Do something for yourself. I've been telling you that over and over. You have a talent, you're wasting it by pickering with uh, Namdekan. Namdekan was not here in 1967. What you will discuss in your platform does not matter. Go have access to CIA document on Nigeria. Go have access to United States of America, CIA document on Nigeria. What you write there is rubbish. What you write in is nonsense. Thanks for watching Igbo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.